Dr. Go Nakamura are visiting us um, from both LA as well as from New York State. Um, so we really love this film at the, at the programming committee for its endearing character that Relation has adored for many years. Um, with marking Go's acting debut, um, it's one of the sweetest um, films that we had the pleasure of seeing all year. So thank you very much. Uh, now can I give the audience to help me by welcoming both David and Go to the stage. Um, I was wondering about the, the process of music for the new soundtrack 
and I'm wondering how much back forth if the music would have been written beforehand or if it had been written after she wrote them or, or during them. Most, most of it was written after because um, pretty much like after we filmed, we finished filming, like Dave said, hey, send me like 30 second clips of stuff. So I immediately just started to just write little things. And yeah, he, he was great with the direction of the, the music too. He's like, oh, I need like a, a version of uh, Surrey Valentine that sounds sort of like Take My Breath Away or something. So I think that, uh, it was fun. It's, I call it like musical Halloween. So I can put on different costumes. We actually, um, we actually just finished shooting a sequel to this movie like a month ago. We're in the process of scoring it right now, so I hope, hope you guys want to see more of this story. Because <laughs> that's a relief. Um, and uh, so it's it's been really fun to work on something that's really sort of small scale in a way. It's, a, a lot of times it's just me and Bill working on it, on everything on our laptops. Or, we're even, um, we've been self-distributing the film. You can actually buy a copy of uh, both Ghost Music and also of the DVD on, on your way out, if you'd like. And, uh, and Warner Brothers actually picked it up for distribution, so it's out on um, cable on demand now and iTunes and stuff. Uh, I just had a question about uh, in terms of your inspiration uh, when it comes to your filmmaking, uh, Dave. I saw a touch of uh, your film seemed to have that Hal Hartley-esque touch to it, very much so. And I was wondering, what filmmakers, what films have inspired you to become a filmmaker? Well, I'm, def I'm definitely a child of the 90s when uh, indie, indie film was, um, when it seemed like there were, indie film was, really felt like a big deal back then, so definitely I liked uh, Hal Hartley's movies. And um, I really like, uh, it sounds like a total lame film school answer, but I, I'm a really big Truffaut fan in a lot of ways, and um, I, I like all kinds of stuff. You know, I, I'm uh, Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty is an amazing director. Anybody here seen Dick Tracy? The movie's a work of art. I think we have a question here. Hi. Yeah. Um, a lot of that. Maybe all of it is very uh, naturalistic. Uh, doesn't feel contrived and over rehearsed. Do you use a lot of improvising, or is that all closely scripted? Um, I, I do a lot of improvisation and rehearsal. I try not to do too much on set, and um, so pretty much everything was scripted. And there are a handful of scenes that are totally made up on the spot. A lot of the stuff in Seattle was um, just kind of shot off the cuff. You know the gun guy that they go and visit in Seattle? That's just. He's just a guy who has a bunch of guns. And, uh, <laughs> he, was, uh, he was in a band in the 80s with my, uh, with my cinematographer called The Skid Mark. And I actually went up to a film lab in Seattle to work on White on Rice, and we stayed at his house. And as soon as I came through the door, he like got out his gun collection. And he had a couple of other ones that you don't see on the screen because he didn't want any photographic record that he owned them. Uh, and then he got out his guitar and was playing like this pornish music. And I was, I mean, it was kind of uncomfortable staying there, to be honest, but, uh, <laughs> man, i got to get this guy in a movie, so, I mean, really the only reason that Go goes to Seattle in the movie is that I have an excuse to put that guy in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was our last question uh, for today, um, but thank you so much, David and Go.